Hi everyone, my name is Matty and I'm a Gaelic football coach for Ulster GAA. Today we're going to focus in on handling. So what we'll do over the next couple of minutes is I'll uh, put us through a warm-up and then we'll go through our hand pass technique that we most commonly see in Gaelic football. <laughs> Okay, so before we start, um, try and grab some items that you can place and scatter along the ground. Okay, again, with uh, your permission. And um, whenever they're all spread out, um, you're trying not to touch them as we go through our movements. So movement number one, you're going to perform a bounce at a cone or an item, pull the ball out in front, take a squat, and then move to another one. So we'll take a bounce, Pull the ball out, squat, and then go to the next one. Again, when you get good at it, you can speed it up. Try your best to bounce with both hands. Good. The next movement that we're gonna do is a lunge. So whenever you lunge by a cone, you're gonna place the ball between your legs, come back towards your chest, and then move to another one. So lunge, trying to swap legs over each time. Brilliant. The next one, okay, you're gonna pretend that you're a waiter. So you're gonna place the ball in your hand, have the ball, and your arm above your head and then you're going to be moving in between your cones or obstacles on the floor and um, without touching them okay so i'm going to show you how that's done so holding the ball above your head weaving through the items trying to not to let them and then touch your feet you can swap over hands trying to not to let the ball drop Brilliant. The next thing then, what we'll do is we're going to place the ball behind your head. You're then going to jump your feet out into a jack. Come back to the start. So every time that you go towards a cone or an obstacle, form a jump to jack. All right. So. Great job. So our last thing that we're going to do in our warm-up, you'll uh, grab your ball, you're going to throw it against the wall or against the fence, or if you have a sibling to take part, you can uh, throw the ball to them. Then you're going to touch your items on the floor, uh, depending on the number that I call it. So if I call it two, you're going to touch two items on the ground, and then try and get the ball back or touch the, the items with the ball. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how that's gonna be done. So, because I don't have anybody to work with, I'm gonna use the fence. So you get the ball, throw it against the fence, catch it, okay, and hit two items on the ground, okay? Back to the center, we're now gonna to touch three items. So again, throw, catch the ball, one, two, three, back to the center, okay? So now that we've got that, we'll try and speed it up. So this time we're looking at two. So try and hit the items on the floor twice as fast as we can. You ready? Go. One, two, back to the center. This time it's gonna be four. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Okay, and our final one, we're gonna perform five. All right, so on your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's our warm up complete. What we'll do now is we'll move on to our handling element of our leg. 
Plaza. Okay, so now that the warm is complete, what we're now going to focus on is our hand pass technique. So there's three things you need to think about. Number one, how your head's positioned. Number two, our hands. Number three, our feet. So I'm just going to show you a couple of quick demonstrations of how to perform a fist pass and then we'll break it down. Okay, so head, make sure that your eyes are towards the intended target so you know where you're passing to, but also whenever the ball is coming back, you know how to catch it. Okay, with our hands, make sure that one hand is out wide and this arm is stable so that whenever you're passing the ball, okay, it'll not fall off your hand. The other hand is going to be used for striking. Okay, you can either close the hand up or you can have the hand right up. Okay, and then three. Okay, have your feet okay, underneath your, your hips and when you're making that pass, make sure that you're stepping into it. Okay, so we went from here, if I have the ball in my left hand, I step into the, 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 tar the intended target and then make the fist pass towards the wall. Okay, or the fence. Whenever you've made the pass, try and bring it in towards your chest. So what I want you to do, okay, you're going to perform 20 passes, okay, Try and do 10 with your right hand and 10 with your left. All right. If you want to start off in close towards the fence, okay, you can. And then if you find it a wee bit easier, challenge yourself and bring yourself further back. Okay. So I'm going to start off in between the two cones. When you're ready, okay. Three, two, and one. One, two, three, four. Good. So now that we've done it statically, we're going to start to have ourselves moving. Okay. So what I have placed uh, here is cones along the, the grass. If you want, get your items and place them down. But make sure they're sp spread out so that they're in the mini gates. You're going to bring yourself a couple of feet away from the gates. You're going to run up towards them and then make the fist pass. As I said before, if you want to make it easy, bring your cones in, make it challenging, have the cones out far. So you're just going to run in, make the pass, and then run back out. Again, run in, make the pass, come back out. Try and swap in hands each time. Okay, we'll move on to the next gate. Like so. So, for our final challenge, okay, what we'll do is we're going to make 10 passes in between each of the gates. You can bring the, the gates out far or you can bring them in close, depending on how well you're performing your fist pass. We're going to start off with this gate. So, 10 passes in it. You can swap over hands each time. And then when you get down to the last gate, so there's one, two, three, four, four gates in total, run back all the way to the start. Okay? Are we ready? Three, two, and one. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, ten. Next gate. So that's our challenge complete. Hopefully you've all enjoyed it. Um, stay safe and um, get practicing. Good luck.